So my first impression of Alicia, uh, I was with my friend in a class and he bumped me and told me that she was like this cute girl in the class. And I could never see her because she always hid behind her hair. So <laughs> I always called her just like a hair person. Like I never knew who she was. So that was my first impression of Alicia. He was wearing a tank top and I hit the girl next to me and I said, oh my gosh, look at him, he's hot. And she knew him. And she was like, worm flinger? And I said, what? And she's like, that's who he, that's what his nickname was in high school. And I was like, oh God, like, I'm not even gonna get to talk to him. They're gonna hit it off and they're gonna flirt and I'm not even gonna get to talk to him at all. But that didn't happen. She told me to meet her after class so we could finally talk to each other. And as I went to approach her, she ran away from me. Uh, but finally we got to meet, um, like a few days later, she finally settled down. So it's just a really cute, energetic, uh, lovable person. Our first date was almost me in a coffin because he almost killed me. Um, so let me explain. So we were driving up to Buffalo Wild Wings and he was in the right turn only lane, but he was like also rapping to me and singing to me and was trying to be cute, which he was, I gotta give him that, but he was like really trying to impress, impress me and didn't realize that it was the right turn lane. So then like had to swerve back and that I didn't eat because my anxiety was so high. So I just didn't touch my wings. She didn't want to eat because she was so nervous, but we were so goofy. It was just like love at first sight, pretty much. It's going to be cliche, but I saw him and I was like, he's mine. I'm marrying him. His arms got me. And then his eyes, his eyes are just so blue. It's just gentle. I just love him. Our third date, we were sitting in my car and uh, like we, we skipped a class. Sorry, mom. We skipped a class to hang out with each other. Uh, and it was just, it was just perfect. I just knew from that moment on that I loved her. Um, he left his phone open and I saw a text that said like, I'm doing a wild thing, I just bought a ring. And then I was like, okay, well I can't tell him his phone's open now because then he's gonna know that I saw that. Uh, so I took her here to Oakwoods Metro Park and I thought I was being really sneaky. I thought that she had not a clue. I told her we were gonna take photos together because my friend just took photos with uh, his now fiance. He like texted me one day and he was like, hey babe, like I wanna take cute family photos, so look nice on Friday and we'll take the dogs. And I walked her over to a little point over here and my family was there and for like 30 seconds she knew, but I was like hiding it. Uh, and then I popped my ring out right in front of the water and asked her to marry me. Walked up to where the kayak drop off was and then I saw his family and I was like, okay, I, I knew. And he did not even wait for his mom to get out and start recording. Like by the time she started recording, he was already on one knee and had already said, will you marry me? And I just bawled like a baby, even though I knew it was coming. Alicia, uh, I love you. You're the love of my life. I can't wait to have a family with you and spend the rest of my life with you. Uh, I just know the rest of our life is going to be great together. I want to cry. I just love him. I just love him so much. He's my best friend. I'm just happy that he chose me like I chose him.